episode of Rock Code Live. I am your host, Rock Code. Today, we're going to try and write a Kube Control plugin to rectify a very major wrongdoing in the Kubernetes ecosystem. We will talk a little bit about that in just a moment. First, I want to introduce my friend and host for today, or co-host, I guess, uh, Matt. Hey, Matt, how's it going? Hey, not bad, thanks. Not bad. Awesome. Do you want to give us the quick elevator pitch of who you are, what you do, and why you're here? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Pitch means I'm selling something. I don't know what I'm selling. Um, uh, I normally start these with, I used to be a software engineer, but you're about to see my code, so I'm probably not going to say that. I, I used to be a software engineer. Uh, yeah, no, I'm Matt. I, I guess I do DevOps and Kubernetes stuff. Um, I used to be a software engineer. Then I got into the whole uh, containers and cloud and Kubernetes thing. Um, uh, had a bit of a fascination with Istio for a couple of years. Yeah, just kind of hang around. Um, <laughs> I've worked at a bit like big, big companies and small. And, and my last role was uh, head of platform, running a, a team to build a, you know, your, your classic cloud native platform for a for a fintech company. Nice. Well, I think, I mean, we've known each other a while now, probably, I think it was through the Kubernetes community. Um, I think, you know, it's safe to say we're both well-versed. We use it almost daily, if not every day, many times a day. And I think we decided to pitch this episode or talk about this episode just from me ranting on Twitter about the verb and noun ordering of the kube control command. And I, I, if I remember correctly, you were in agreement with me, right? Like we, we were both firmly in the camp that it's wrong. <laughs> I think we were both firmly in the camp that it's wrong. And then I started saying all of these things. Oh, you know, when I was a young thing, <laughs> when I was at some, some gray beard taught me from software engineer, right? If you're going to name a method, because I started off doing embedded C and there's no uh, classes or anything, right? So you end up with sort of these, these massive long function names, like uh, it's basically package underscore component underscore something underscore something. Um, and there was this perennial argument and Greybeard put his foot down in that first place and said, no, it's noun, 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 verb. Because you might have a bunch of nouns. You might be in a, in a hierarchy that you'd use packages and classes for in another language. You know, you might have a, a tr you might be in a tree iterator. Both of those are nouns, but then at the end, it's like get, set, delete, create. You know, <laughs> so that's that's your verb. So I think I said, yeah, kubectl should be, maybe I'm jumping ahead, but I think we, bo we both agreed it was wrong. We both had different ideas for what right looked like. <laughs> Yeah, so for me, I mean, again, I spend a lot of time in my command line. I'm going to assume that people working with Kubernetes generally are anyway. And, you know, we are using Kube Control and Helm and Kind and all of these other other tools. And I just always find it really frustrating that I have to do verb noun. And then when I want to change or do something else with a noun, and I've got to delete twice and then recompose my entire command. And it just, it doesn't have that flow, that ergonomics that I really want from a command line application. And we, we seem to be in a situation where just all of the tools are now doing this, where it's cube control, get pods. And then if you want to, you know, do something else with that pod, you have to, I guess we should show it, right? I'm, I'm never, I'm never going to be able to articulate it. But yeah, maybe we should. Fashion. So let's see. Let's, uh, do my screen share. So there's my my readme. We're starting from nothing today. Uh, what am I doing? Mm -hmm. I have no idea. So if I do so kube control, get pods. Uh, I was faffing around with this cluster earlier. So there's some random resources here. Uh, but now if I want to do anything else with this, I have to delete two words. Yep. Change. And the ergonomics don't feel feel right i mean I, I feel like i should be doing pods get pods describe and just really working with that flow your terminal's slightly off the bottom of the screen there by the way uh, it is for me just that line you're typing on uh alrighty. let's see if i can change that yes i can so crop to fill off there now you just get everything there we go. at no, least you yeah, can see cool. it uh, Yes, I agree. I mean, yeah, you go, okay, you look at a deployment and then you're like, right, it's stuck, you know, it's done its thing, but the why still my program still isn't running, so you go and change, uh, you know, deployments to replica sets and then replica sets to pods, maybe. But yeah, more often I end up <laughs> listing pods, describing a pod, doing get dash o yaml on a pod. Um, even things like logs, you want to look at the logs. You know, I mean, yes, there's there's obviously solutions to all of this. You know, Z Shell's got some some nice crazy syntax involving a lot of explanation marks where you can go and change 
could, you know, other words in a, in a previous command. And you could learn all of your read line stuff to like navigate around those words, but it's not, e what was that really good talk by Rich, whatever his name is, you know, simple is not easy. Like it's, it's possible. And if it's in your muscle memory, then it's easy, but it's not simple. It's not intuitive. It's not discoverable. It's not the same as the other tools that you use. Yeah, definitely. So I think we've explained, we've set the, we've set the challenge, right? We've explained why we, we don't like the way it works right now. Um, and Kubernetes, or particularly Kube Control, does provide ways for us to extend the command. It has this concept of a plugin, uh, very similar to the way that Git plugins work. Um, you can find this documentation on the Kubernetes website. Uh, and if you're not familiar with how Git plugins work, all you really need to do is have another command available on in your path that starts with kube control dash for get is get dash and anything after that then becomes a new sub command in the kube control command and it executes it nice and simple so yes. we're going to just really start with the most crudest approach that i, I think we're going to uh, that we can get away with here and that's just use a little bit of bash uh, I guess we'll start with the, you know, the developer-friendly Hello World equivalent, and then we'll see if we can actually try and fulfill the verb and noun swappage. Uh, and then we also want to take a look at using Crew as a way to provide... Uh, a crew is a plugin manager for Kube Control that will make it easier for other people to install this plugin and get the benefits of this. Easy, right? Easy. <laughs> I mean, there's no, it's no CNI. There's, no, as you say, we can just dump a binary on the path. We don't have to implement a gRPC interface over loop back. Nobody's yeah. going to fork execus with some like <laughs> cra crazy, uh, you know, crazy set of arguments. Like, I, this, yeah, it could be. I tried to extend. I was trying to extend the scheduler last week, and I, I'm thankful for this interface. Let me tell you. <laughs> All right. Okay. Good. Uh... Let's just get started. Uh, if you just yeah, go down this page, it. there is this really. Nice, not nice, a very simple example for Bash that we're just going to... Oh, have. cheers. Cheers, Tim Hawking. Let's done. <laughs> we're just going to steal this. We're going to start with a fail. Now, we have a live share here, which means that uh, I should call this kubectl. Uh, we'll call it pods for now. And you should be able to see this, right? Yeah, uh, because yeah, the live share... And can you type? Give me a... So, give me something. 42, there we go. Right, perfect. Mm -hmm. No, don't delete it. Oh, okay. <laughs> didn't. What the hell did I mean? Uh, yeah, sorry. Not off to a good start. Ooh. Right. So, no, I, I, I really don't care about argument handling right now. I, I really just want to show how simple it is to get started. So we'll just say, hey, I'm a plugin named Cube Control Pods. We save this script. Now, because this is the bash script, we do need to make it executable. Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to symlink this directly into my path. I was going to say. <laughs> uh, and this is where I show my my 20 years of Linux knowledge and still can't remember if it's uh, target. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's source first. Source first, it's yeah. Source first. Uh, I should put a path on it. So uh, user local bin. Which means I should now have access. Oh, it does not. No, try it. <laughs> you might need hash dash r just to make your shell realize. Oh, the wrong one. Oh, no, because it's got the dot sh on it. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, it's the wrong way around. Is it? Did I get it wrong? Oh, mm. oh no, I need to fill path. Okay, so. You, you need to. I didn't think you did. I almost said something. Yeah. I thought it would work out. Okay, so let's do this. And um, we actually want to make it available just as pods. All right, yeah. let's see. How's that looking? We might need a shebang line to make it execute properly. Oh, yeah, of course. We have one. Oh, oh we know. do have one. We have Again. a bad one. So, um, these are Ben, E, and B, bash. Okay, now we have a better shebang. So, if we run, keep control. Should we, should we done then? Pods. Which means. Because this is all really simple, mm -hmm. we now can have we, we now have a new sub command on Q done. All right, thanks. I'll see you later. Done. I honestly I thought we'd be <laughs> fighting Go dot mod files for like an hour. Like this is really cool. <laughs> uh, I mean, that, 
I, I, I think we're going to be able to get quite far with our really crude bash um, version of this. I'm, well, actually not, because we're trying to... <laughs> here's a challenge, right? We're going to need a different one of these bash scripts for each of the nouns that we want to be able to drop in as a subcommand because we don't have that encapsulation of a subcommand. <laughs> oh, I hadn't thought of that. Uh, but we'll make uh, it work for, for pods and maybe deployments and then... Hopefully, people will give us some pull requests with other with other mm -hmm. nouns. Cause I don't. Could we it. make our lives a bit easier and just just call our plugin like foo, and then you, you could literally shell alias like kubectl to kubectl foo. <laughs> That's a good idea. That's something. a good approach, maybe. Yeah, or maybe we'll have yeah. a. I'm assuming we can just drop in as many of these bash scripts as we want, so we can have oh, no, deployments, replica sets, and then have an encapsulator called foo that people can use as an alias, maybe. Anyway. One one problem at a time, Matt. Right. Yeah, so, fair. Good point. Good point. So, as far as our crude implementation goes, all we really want to be able to do is is execute something, pods. That right? <laughs> Where we yeah get pods. So I mean, I don't want to sound too confident, but that. Oh no no get yeah. Get oh, pods yeah. Get. But how do I know I want to get? So actually, this goes here. So I'm trying to find the tweet where I sort of suggested <laughs> this grammar. and I, I can't. Um, but I think it was something like... We, we were changing the noun and verb order. So it was something like pods, get, name, and then the arguments. And I think I suggested you know, as, a, as a bonus, you could leave more and more of those latter parts off. So, you know, kubectl pods would, would do a, a list, essentially, like a, like a, a get... Yeah, you proposed bringing the namespace into the into the mix as well, and we talked about providing yeah. defaults if you're got the cube content. But right now, let's let's assume that we want to be able to run cube control pods get dash uh, a right. So we want to do all namespaces. Yeah. So what we really want is to take the first parameter, and this I don't think this is the right bash syntax. This is I've made this up. <laughs> uh, uh, and then, no, that's that. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> I was. I, I think you could do something like that, like where you say maybe that's just my go slipping through. But like, hey, it's give me the rest of the slice that's after the so. first element. So let's try and get that to work then. But yeah, some, something. That, yeah, I agree. That'll swap because I mean we don't want to be writing a parser in Bash. No. So let's, let's, let's see. clutch it for now. Bash array cool. syntax. <laughs> so the the old fact the correct way to do it old fashioned was um, shift. But yeah, bash four, bash five, you've probably got some nice array syntax. Yeah, let's see. What have we got? Um, but we can definitely do it. We, we should probably do it with shift and stuff. Um, do you want to look at that? I'll knock up like SH compatible something in case we need it. Yeah, okay. So what you're suggesting is we actually say command equals and we're going to shift this and then extra or else. Yeah, basically. Okay, you, yeah, you know that, yeah. Yeah, so... I, mean, I don't even remember the right syntax here, but I'm going to work it out. So, yeah, it's not quite shift. It'll be command equals one, and then shift as its own command. Basically, ah, yeah, yeah, shift yeah. just pops pops that queue. And then uh, I don't think you need an argument to shift. I think shift literally just punts all the um, positional arguments by one. Oh, really? There we go. Yeah, yeah, I think so. You think, and right? then okay. you can use and then and then you can use app yeah. for the yeah. Uh, you know what? How do we test it? Well, we run it in production. So let's see. Pods. Yeah, of course. Get. Oh. Come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> We're done. I mean. We're done. We're done. <laughs> We're literally done. Should we default? Uh, so I think if we can say if one isn't provided, I need to default to get. What are you typing? Do I have to save in VS Code? Oh, so you want to be able to run uh, just a uh, key? I think literally just pods. pods. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I like it. But I could also do pods describe and then pass in one, and that should still work. Oh, so good. I'm already loving this plugin. I'm got to. I'm actually, yeah. This is so. I've got about three pages worth of shell aliases. I've I've got a bash RC <laughs> snippet that's just got so much. Like I've got func bash functions that auto generate like shell aliases. Like that's that's how much I use kubectl, and this is already better. I'm I'm hungry. 
<laughs> right. So now we can try and uh, show off the workflow that we actually want. Where we're like, hey, well, I just want to be able to push up, and now I want to describe this resource. Like, mm -hmm. and I'm not deleting any words to be able to do this. That's awesome. Uh, I mean, I didn't think we would get this far in an hour and a half, and we've done it. In <laughs> <laughs> Did we say? What, so, so what is the workflow then? What's the sort of what's the key user journey through this? Because I often find that I, I'll get them and I'll end up describing one like that, and then the next thing I'll probably end up doing is like a get dash o yaml. Uh, yeah. So generally, you're right. So what I I think I'm just going to repeat exactly what you said, but I I do a lot of pods. All right. Okay. Oops. Uh, and I said, okay, what's what's wrong with this pod? And then if there's nothing here, then I would say, okay, well, I actually let's get nginx one. Oh, it's not copied to my buffer anymore. Let's see if we can find a bash way to handle that. Uh, and then dash o yaml. Yeah. Oh, uh, so the get isn't a default anymore either because nginx one. Right, because yeah. <laughs> But still, I still like where this is going. So, yeah, no, no, definitely. I just wonder whether with that verb really does want to go on the end because I think that's what I suggested. Because I was like noun, noun, noun. Because I think I I think I suggested keep CTR namespace name verb. No, I'm not saying that's right. Like thinking about it, I don't. I think the namespace should still just be a flag, um, and that's maybe not the most uh, but what that would let you do is go back up and literally just just change the verb so we're like oh yeah that one it's broken it's wedged you know delete um because that i often just use delete just to cycle right i push a new image in another terminal from the code i'm writing and then do a delete yeah uh, so what you're proposing is where we would actually quite like the syntax where we have this and we say describe and yeah, when that describe, doesn't give get, us what delete. we want we say okay let's get the logs or maybe yeah. we want more information and but then I think we're in a situation where we need to be able to understand when this is a verb and when it's an when when it's a target, right? Because we still want to be able to do pods get or or well, do I, we? It, well, I think if we this thing if we just say pods, well, yeah, do, pods get will just work because you can just say pods. And do we ever want to just do pods delete? For all of them, we probably don't. Pods create, edit, it doesn't make but sense. But what if I want to do a label selector where it's get me all of the pods where app equals nginx, which right now, True. well, nginx1, I think I've got it called that. Uh, well, that would work, but that's no longer, I mean, if we inject some pod name here, we lose the ability to do that. So as much as yeah. I like your idea of having that fluid interface where we do have the name followed by some command to an act on a target, being able to understand when we actually need to escape out for that, I think would be quite a challenge. Unless we unless we allow lists some specific commands like get or etc. Right, yeah. I was thinking the name would always be there, but you're right, that like label selectors are a are very often used as a stand-in for a name, aren't they? Yeah, and that does make it very... I'd have to wrap my brain for far too much, like, you need <laughs> computer science uh, for whether this grammar is ambiguous or not. Um, and we don't really be running a parser in Bash anyway. Yeah, okay, now let's stick with this. I'm really... I'm, I'm pretty happy. Well, let me... Let me devil advocate myself here. <laughs> what if we check for the dash? What if we check for flags? And that means that we're working on a no name basis and anything else we would assume is a name. Yeah. Would there ever be a reason to type anything after pods that's not a name that isn't a flag? <laughs> I mean, what, what do you it's... do with a list? Do you watch, you list, dash W, dash L, like maybe we're okay? Yeah, there's no, it doesn't take any other, you know, non-flag arguments, does it? doesn't take any other <laughs> i forgot what python calls them other, other than the command and the name and then and the name let's try it let, let's, let's try it let's try and make this work so what we want to see now and let me just pseudo code this out a little bit is before we go shifting and getting a command we want to establish is the first parameter a flag if so then what we're going to say is that uh, something. 
Otherwise, uh, it's a name. Yeah. Uh, if it's a flag, I guess. Now I'm trying to work out, do we ever need to send flags to anything that's not a get? Because what we're saying is we are going to assume that it's always a get. What if we want to delete? Aha. I don't think we do need to assume, because if we're rearranging them, then you can just put the verb on the... The get just goes on the end. But if we... Ass no, but if I want to delete all pods right now, then it would be pods delete all. We would assume this is the name of a pod. Does that work? Yeah. <laughs> is the capital A not all namespaces? You need oh, you, you oh, literally yeah. need to say it's all, oh, isn't it? It's literally yeah. pods delete. Yeah. But uh, which is a flag? But the delete becomes before the flags. Or are you? Are we now suggesting that hey, actually, what we want to do is all delete? Yeah, it's not the most ergonomic thing, is it? Yeah. Who would have thought? I, I think right in the the cube control wrongs be so complicated. So maybe the guys who wrote it, the people who wrote it, knew what they were doing. Maybe it should just be delete. <laughs> um, right. No, that's, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not sticking. Should with we? That. Should we maybe just try and do this for get? Because I, I mean, I don't delete all pods that off. I think I'm happy if this thing gives me some shortcuts. I, I, I'm happy if this doesn't completely replace kubectl, if you see what I mean. If it's useful shortcuts, and then if this doesn't cover it, as long as it doesn't do the wrong thing, as long as it doesn't do anything dangerous, it just goes, uh, I don't know what that is. Then I just go back to kubectl. I don't know what you think. I think I'd be happy with that. Okay. Well, let's just make sure that we have... The, you know the target workflow that we started with make sure that works that's, i mean that, that to me that is all that's important is this is the ability to do pods delete uh, get describe and i really want to make logs work here too okay. <laughs> so even though i know you can get logs of other resources um, generally does it not work at the moment so it works with what we've got maybe no, we actually logs, just shouldn't well, okay you're right okay so Pods. That's great. Yeah, because we went in a rabbit hole where we're like, oh, but the name should come before so that I only need to then do up yeah. and delete. The, the way it is, it actually works really nicely. <laughs> oh, you're so annoying. Anyway, right. <laughs> no, it was me that suggested the rabbit hole, but actually I'm like, what we've got, what we've got works. Yeah, so now if I want to change this to be logs, I am going back before this target. Yeah, um, that's what I mean. What if I mean? So we could swap. <laughs> we could swap. The problem with swapping them is that, yeah, well, sometimes you don't want to give a name. Sometimes you want to give flags. I mean, we can always just encourage. Well, right, I can never remember that syntax, but yeah, sure. I, I got something wrong. Something like that, though. But then that would work if I was using the original syntax, right? So, like, we still want to identify something cool about this interface. So I, I know why we tried to put the command after the thing, but it's going to be tricky. Yeah. So this is this is V1, right? We're just having a bit yeah, of a laugh. Yeah, this is okay. This, so. Maybe we try to extend this to deployments and stuff, and then maybe we try and get it up in crew. Maybe that's what we should look at first. Because once we've got the framework, I mean, somebody could come along and... I mean, we shouldn't be leaving this in bash, right? We probably should write it in a real language. Why? <laughs> yeah, maybe... Right. maybe. Maybe right. at which point be. we lean on a library at which point we literally lean on like a, a parser library right we we yak or whatever the equivalent is for go uh, okay so ah there's something we've not tackled uh kp get won't work anymore so using like because remember all the resources have aliases like pause oh, also do, PO, most of them, yeah. deploy deploys deployment <laughs> yeah is that not gonna well we, oh, have no, to, right. we would have to make sure first. yeah maybe we should jump to crew now maybe crew provides some facility for then injecting this with multiple names i'm not sure i've never done this before either so yeah, okay but if we can have this say take this file and stick it in the path is cube control pods cube control po cube control whatever yeah, either crew just just literally dumps out multiple symlinks, or maybe even Cube's control has a has a metadata file like they can find a JSON file on the same path that tells it aliases or something. All right, so let's yeah, let's okay. work out what crew is. Uh, 
Yeah, I assumed it did more, but maybe it doesn't. So discover plugin, install them on your machine and keep them up to date. Uh, so develop it. No, that would be for developing crew itself. Oh no, distributing plugin. Yeah, okay. Uh, plug in naming guide, best practices, we can skip all that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> best practices is, is not for us. No. Okay, so yeah. shall we just jump straight to the manifest? Let's see what this is. Okay, right, okay, so you do give it a manifest. Of course it's a, of course it's a Kubernetes style API. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Uh, uh, so let's call this. Oh, uh, crew. Oh, computer hates me today. Uh, rename crew dot yaml. Excuse me. All right. So crew Google Container Tools plugin. The name must match the file name of the manifest, right? Uh, so we call this the noun verb plugin. Which yeah. means I need to rename my file mm -hmm. to be noun verb. Thank you, comment. Uh, version. Yep, zero zero one seems about right. Yeah. Maybe that's too mature. Yeah. Alpha one. <laughs> Alpha. <laughs> Yep. Homepage. Uh, sure. Why not? Raw code. Cube control. And verb. Uh, description. Bringing sanity and composable composability to cube control. I mean, I don't want to offer too much, but I feel that we are. I was going to say imp uh, important mission. Aspirational. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can learn to spell. Maybe that's just not a word. As as for today, maybe All you right. can't compose compose that stem and suffix. Bring insanity and compose. I like it. I like that we've composed a <laughs> fake word. Yeah, yeah. I think it's. I, I like the irony. We should keep it. Uh, All right. Description. Thanks. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Okay. The platforms <laughs> should work on anything. It's a portable, posits compatible bash script. See. Exactly. Yeah. Go would require us to compile this multiple times. Now we are. We're even using user user bin env. I mean, we're. You know. Yeah, safe. Uh, we'll even work on Nix, which is good. Yeah. Uh, URI. Oh, we haven't really. Checked okay, so they're using yet. GitHub. Yeah. yeah, they're using GitHub uh, releases. That's fair enough. And there we go. Um, we have the ability to deploy the fails. Oh, we, do. we could have used that. Yeah. Dot slash. I wonder where it's. I assume it prefixes that path. A oh, bin yeah. specifies the path of plugin executable. Oh, amongst or right. Oh, so I think what it's doing is I think those are paths within like a sandbox, and then that bin key at the bottom is telling it which one to symlink into user local. Oh, does that mean we need a manifest for every sub command? It does <laughs> look like it. Well, I mean, that's not going to work. <laughs> no. It's, um... So we would have to provide the cube control noun plugin, which then you'd have to alias cube control noun to cube control. We, we probably would have to go down that encapsulated route to provide this. That's all I can think of at the moment. The problem with that is it then needs to cover the full surface area of cube control. It can't just be shortcuts. Uh, unless it just, unless we write the quote unquote parser fairly well so that it just better like if it doesn't recognize the sequence it bails out and it calls underlying cube control with exactly the set of arguments you've given it well i, I think it I, I don't think we need a parser i mean all we're doing is swapping the first argument around i yeah, mean okay. we, we would have to inject something in here so like it would be that's why it was, yeah so that's why it's quote unquote parser quote unquote um, parser right okay I'm okay, just thinking if you know, if, if you alias kubectl two kubectl noun verb, kubectl noun verb then has to understand everything you could ever possibly pass to kubectl, right? Um, either understand it or realize that it doesn't understand it and call the underlying one. 
I mean, the only constraint on people using this plugin would be that you no longer could put your namespace in at the start. You would have to always do pods get and then do flags so that it can swap these two around. But there's other weird stuff on there's like QCTL API resources, right? And all of these other weird little <laughs> commands that you forget exec and all of that stuff that don't follow this because they're not CRUD operations. There's all, there's all the, basically all the RPC methods. Yeah. It's getting more complicated than I was hoping for, wasn't it? <laughs> no, so I've got, I've got K. I use kubectl so much. I've got K alias to, to yep. kubectl. Maybe we just alias K or KNV to kubectl noun verb. And then that's your set of shortcuts right on your fingertips. Well, yeah, okay. So th this is a bit of fun to understand how crew works anyway, right? I mean, we're True. not actually trying to to solve this problem. I mean, I do want to make my life a little bit easier, so. You might not be. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm getting, I'm getting carried away. Um, Should we just fork cube control and just, <laughs> just wow. fix it? Uh, now this is, okay, what should, what should we learn next? Okay, maybe it just does pods for now. Should we, should yeah, we, try, let's to, just, should we try to publish it? Let's just publish it and yeah. see if we can install it through crew. Uh, and that would be really cool. I'll, I'll try and install it over here. Yeah. That would be really cool. Okay, let's do that. So this is just our pods helper. We don't need to solve anything else. We can, you know, if we're feeling nice, we'll add deployments, services, so the basic ones, right? We won't yeah. handle any CRDs, custom resources, or special commands. So... That means we have our noun verb here. So I'm I'm going to have to push this to GitHub. So we need a repository. We need a release. So we need a tag. And then we'll need to fill in these values. So like all good new projects, get in it. Oh, I thought that was the default now. Get in it. Um, no, it is. What did it say? Oh, no, I have to set config global in it. All oh, right, it's gets global config. Okay, get in it. There we go. And get add our readme, which has nothing, and our alias, our subcommand. Let's get that pushed up first and tag it. So each fixing the pod insanity. I'm loving the hyperbole with this episode. I've got it. It's great, it. isn't it? <laughs> and uh, keep con keynote right here. <laughs> we fixed it. We saved you. We we, all, we saved everybody a hundred thousand keystrokes a year. Exactly. Uh, right. And your repository. Oh, what's that? Oh, is that just a theme selector? I thought it was a new feature. Okay. Cube uh, CTL noun verb. I'm hoping there's something in the crew syntax where we can deploy multiple plugins in a single, but. If not, I'll yeah, rename we'll it to pods later. So this is going to be public. You don't want to know. And go. Let's copy this. Push origin main you. Oh, fingerprint. Now we want to tag this, uh, 0 .0 .1, uh, yeah. 1. <laughs> alpha 1, alpha uh, 1. There's hyperbole and then there's straight up fraud, which would be calling this a V1. Yeah, you're right. Uh, push the tag and let's refresh this. So we should have a new release. Awesome. I, I've never done a release before, uh, 0. Oh yeah, no, it's cool. Yeah, you see that drop. Pick that from the drop down, uh, uh, yeah. and it should <laughs> make it from the yeah. It should make it from that tag. Yeah, there you go. So, so on the left, it, on the right is the release name. On the left is the the tag it's associated with. So they just copy the link to this. Tars it. Oh yeah, I was thinking we would actually have to make that release artifact, but it's what we want is exactly just the zipped content of that repo, right? Uh, yeah. And we'll need the SHA, so let's just download that. Oh, curl F S S L. Yeah, L, yeah. Uh, huh. Oh. 
Did anything come down? Uh, no, oh, down. Uh, TGZ. There we go. Uh, Shadow. Some. <laughs> yeah, what? <laughs> On Linux, I would just do SHA-256. SHA-256, um, yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I'm not really but now I'm going to learn how to work my Mac. Let's just see what this gives me then. <laughs> what is that? What does the man page say that is? 5.30. Print or check SHA sums. So, so we can specify okay. the algorithm. Mm -hmm. Default, we're getting one. Yeah, we don't want SHA-1 here, right? We want a no. 256 probably. Want a 256. Does it specify? Yeah, it did. Okay. Yeah. So, dash A256. I'm just intrigued. Well, I'm going to look it up now. Uh, that looks better. There we go. Oh, I've got a SHA-256 um, on my Mac. I'm sure it's probably installed. Like, I, I took the, yeah. the winter break just it's to wipe this thing and, like, rebuild my dot file all my dot files have been linux i've been using linux since i was 16 and this new role they gave me a mac and i've been i've been trying to make the best of it shall we say so i'm impressed you've stayed off because yeah i've been using linux for about the same amount of time i've got my uh, i think we're about the same age i got my dot files in in git right on github yep. it's all beautiful and then yeah i've not been able to, to resist the macs for for so long, companies keep giving me them. I, I, so many of my dot files are now full of if OS Darwin, <laughs> do something, do something weird. Yep. All right, let's let's get this working. So we're almost okay, there. Cool. I can feel it. So from, uh, I'm assuming this plugin probably just has a directory structure, unlike ours, right? So let's just check that out. When in doubt, pull up the repo. There we go. I'm assuming they've got a directory called. Cube. No, they don't. That's annoying. No, I think it's yeah. Well, this is fine, right? Because it's literally just going to be in the. I th I assume they oh. just extract the zip into the sandbox directory. Look at that. There's no bin file. It's just from star. Oh, nice. Okay. I feel like we're onto a winner here. So. <laughs> yeah, this might work. We might have to read the docs, but let's try it. Uh, so fails from two. There we go. Uh, and we just want all... Oh, so I think it's extracting it into this directory, isn't it? That's what's happening. Okay, so kube control... Oh, uh, yeah, okay, down yeah. ...verb star star uh, dot... Just, just grab the dot SHEs and stick them into whatever the dot is and see if we can get away without the bin. Yeah. Uh, that may be enough. So I'm going to... I'm feeling brave, so... <laughs> Does R get? I don't know. Let's let's work it out. So, I wonder if R zip's got a prefix in it, the way GitHub makes it. We'll find out. So we're going to add the crew manifest. We're going to tag us as alpha two, and we're going to push everything and create a new release. Is there a way for me just to can it auto create releases from tags? Is that not something GitHub does? Uh, not out of the GitHub Actions would be the way to set that up. Not out of the box. Okay, new alpha two target main pre release publish. So, normally, obviously, you'd actually have to make those, it, it zips up the source as those two like default assets, and obviously, you normally actually have to do like a build step, right? Uh, and kind of publish assets there, yeah. but yeah, we get we get <laughs> we get to win because we've just got just the interpreted code is what we want. I feel that like we got quite lucky by just saying let's hack this together and the shell script instead of um, actually going yeah, to go because that was gonna, almost our gonna, default. Yeah, it was. Yeah, I was like, we're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to import all the client Go packages, call it uh, kubectl packages. Sorry, call it internal API. You know, find its part, its fork it, find its parser, rip it out. And I was going to spend all weekend like preparing for this, and then I was too busy. And here we are. Well, yeah, I think we're we're onto a winner here. So we now have Alpha two now. Uh, how do we tell crew about it? So, it's, yeah, how do we actually publish this to their registry? And are they going to let us? I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we maybe have to. Mm. You, we probably have to raise a PR on K slash K or something to be like acknowledged. Oh, plugin. I don't think it'll be KK. Sure, I mean, well, maybe not KK. Testing maybe, plugin. Let's do local, right? There we go. Yeah. Okay. So. I need okay. 
uh, I don't even think I have do I have crew. No. So let's just. I was gonna go. say if you, if you got crew. Well, Maybe install Kubernetes another crew pl or something. We're about to find Probably. out. Maybe install another plugin and just to find out where it, and then use which to find out where it puts it, so we can check that ours is being actually sort of installed. All right, zero four zero. That looks like a Kubernetes project. So yeah, I've got a few of these plugins. So uh, why is that not in my path? Let's see if it is. If I do this. Is it a plugin itself? Oh, it is. <laughs> yeah, it is. I, yeah, it is. Uh, and they go in. Yeah, right. They go in home. Uh, dot crew. Bin is where they all end up. In fact, it was right there in front of me. All right. Okay. So, uh, install. Point it to our manifest. Uh, noun verb. And do I need to specify the archive? Yeah, I guess. Oh, we got an error. Bin has to be set. That was not set on the other plugin. No, which other plugin did you find? Or was it? And it's just. Is this a YAML schema thing? They're on Apple V1 Alpha 1. Are we Are also you V1, V1 Alpha, Alpha 1? I don't know, because that, uh, that repo uh. hasn't been touched for, for three years. Yeah. <laughs> oh, David. <laughs> You're a terrible human. <sighs> right, fine, fine, okay, fine, fine, fine. All right. Uh, let's they, see. They've added security. <laughs> Matt and Dave work around security. Uh, this is, this... Oh, look at that. There's an example patch one. Perfect. Uh, yeah. So they have this. Ben, should we do we get it working like that for now? We can always um, we can look at auto generating this stuff or you know doing some things. Yeah, I was just curious if they document the field. Yeah, okay. So each platform requires a path to the plugin. Uh, you would specify this. It creates a sim link to that. I mean, yeah, yeah. It's because we're trying to as much be a bit more dangerous although this is a, an array right so oh it is it wasn't i sw i was going to say that but i swear it wasn't in that example we had so, oh, if it's an array that's awesome so we can see yeah looking on my machine there. there's yeah i've got i've got a symlink farm and then i can see there's basically a sandbox directory they all get extracted into and it just wants the script which for us good detail pods yeah, I mean, we can clean up that name and remove that. But for now, let's just do this. And I'm going to... No, I'm not. Yeah. Let's just do that. <laughs> let's start simple. Okay. I don't, I don't want to Yeah, get... okay, yeah, true. Uh, okay. So that should make that happy. Uh, not quite. Oh, yeah, it just wants this path. Okay. URI has to be set. It, it, oh no! Oh, so yeah, the bed has to come in here. Okay, got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. <gasps> oh, I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Isn't it? A because now we need to change it to skip the first two. Uh, Maybe. I don't know what it sees. I don't know how kubectl might strip one or both of them. That's a good question. Let's do two and then shift shift. <laughs> I assume that's right. Uh, we could just echo them. Uh, force. <laughs> if in doubt. I, am I going to have to uninstall it to reinstall it? I can tell you where it puts it. We could just replace the file. <laughs> uh, or bump the version number, maybe. Is that why it's not installing it? I didn't get a chance to read it. You might be right. Um, let's 
is alpha two anyway, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe I just. Uh, I can't installed. stay that. That's not gonna work. All right, where's the? Where does it stick that fail? <laughs> it sticks it in dot crew. Store. Well, yeah, bin is this? So that's the sim link. Um, the actual file is in store. Yeah, store noun verbs version. All right. Yeah. Okay. So, copy. <laughs> So hacky. Um, this is a CD right here. Which means we want to try. Ah, oh, no, it worked. All right. Okay. So oh, we can skip noun verbs, which means we now probably can add all the aliases for pods, POP, deployments, etc. And then. If I do it, yeah, oh, yeah but then <laughs> we probably. What I'll do is I'll do alias. Kn equals uh, cube control noun verb. I'm thinking that's how I'm going to run it on my machine. Uh, I turned on this new Z shell thing, which does like expansion, which I'm really loving right now. So, oh, why did that not work? Why did that not work? Because that worked, right? Oh no, I've broken it. Yeah, what? Oh, noun verb, not noun verbs. Oh, okay. Noun verbs. Alias. Yeah. Okay, so KN pods. Nice. Okay. We have changed the world today. Oh, so you were talking, you were typing KN and it did that. Uh, yeah, so mine's auto expands. Right, okay, I just didn't so see So when that. I hit space, just choo. Or if I do mm, nice. LT or. Oh, I must have them configured not to always expand. Yeah, I, I started, I've been really working on my Z Shell plugins lately. So. <laughs> uh, no, that's really nice. Yeah, and if I do K cool. pods, it expands too. Right, okay. Uh, we have a comment from someone. Um, it must be really weird for anyone who's tuned in late. I'm really sorry, Alex, because uh, <laughs> this is a bit of a wild one. <laughs> yeah, fuck it. We'll explain it again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've got a description somewhere, right? <laughs> I, I didn't add one because I had no idea how to describe what the hell we were trying to do. Uh, we're, we're trying to fix a wrong in the world, which is where you have to do pods and then delete two words and then describe your pods where we actually feel that it's more ergonomically correct or enjoyable to do pods, get, describe, etc. So we're trying to make that work through a plugin. <laughs> and I mean, really, I know Matt has said, yes, we are trying to fix this problem. But at the same time, we're using it as an excuse, A, to catch no, up no, because we we've not seen each other in a while and this is the closest we're getting. And at the same time, also, we're learning how crew, cube control plugins work, etc. So it's, it's, it's more of a just fun, casual episode. No, we are. I keep trying to over-engineer it. And uh, yeah, David keeps pulling me back. <laughs> He's just been like, ah, okay, maybe I'll skip this one. Good call, good call. Anyway, um, so we're in a position now where we we have it working. Yeah. Uh, we've written this, no, this is... crew manifest. You didn't let me cowboy it with V1 Alpha 1. Right. But it probably worked out for the best because now we know we can actually specify this multiple times, which is a little weird because oh right that's how you're meant to do multi-arch stuff if you need to ship two different binaries yeah but we can probably just abuse that right they can all say linux <laughs> i think because now we've changed the way that this works right like bear with me here so no don't oh yeah it's just a read me who cares um <laughs> we could probably make this an entry point because I mean, we tried to make it work as cube pods, but the plugin system is actually now forcing us down the noun verbs thing. So we need the alias, which means mm. this doesn't necessarily have to be cube control pods. This can be. Oh yeah, we can totally switch. Noun we can verb. switch an arg v two. Yeah. We can work out the get. We can also work out the the noun. Yeah. It's just one. Well, we don't want to default there. 
Is it one? Is one not known? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, one, yeah. sorry. One's going to be known first. So this is just three, and we're not going to let them have a default there. We're not, al yeah, we're not going to support that. And then we can now do another shift. And what we're seeing is, is the pod becomes known. And I actually prefer this to the I don't know why I didn't do that. And then we pass everything else through. However, or we can do shift two. Thanks, Alex. Let me pop that up. We were learning. I'm learning, actually. So. Uh, idiomatically, you'd, just, idiomatically, you'd actually say, yeah, I guess you can do that. Um, idiomatically, what we'd actually do is you tend to extract one. So you'd say, if that makes sense. Eh, I'll go with it. <laughs> uh, but we, we need some special handling here. Uh, what we, what you mentioned earlier was there are resources like there, there are things that aren't CRUD. So API resources, exec. Should we build escape patches for that, or do we just assume that people are always going to use this as a special alias like KN, rather than taking over full K? Right. Maybe for now. What, I, what about I think a warning? Like exec and API resources uh, and. Uh, there's a lot of them actually. Is CS one or is it get CS? Is get CS right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's cluster status, it's cluster so, info, there's API extensions, API resources, API kinds. Shh, calm down, calm down, calm down. Uh, yes. <laughs> let's just throw then one warning bro. as an example. And then if people start okay. uh, I mean if people are wild enough to start using this, let they'll add yeah, in the sure. other edge cases, right? So what we're saying is if we run KN and we're in the known verb syntax and we do exec, we want to warn on known. Is that the wrong way around? Yeah, it's actually known first. So, um, and then, oh, right, yeah. yeah, this was literally the whole point in this, wasn't it? <laughs> um, maybe, yeah, let's just, okay, let's, yeah, you're right, let's make it easy. Let's check if, if now it is not pods or deployments. So case known. I can never remember how to do a bash case statement. Uh, oh, it's the string and then a right paren. Copy, yeah, copy paste it. It's like that. Uh, okay, so what we're saying is if known is in any of these, and we'll just. Okay, so. Yeah, and this seems to be like a. Yeah, this is regexy. So yep. we're going to say uh, exec API resources. Uh, do we not just want to allow list pods and deployments and one and everything else and then just allow list more things as we as we know they work as we support them? Up to you, up to you. Okay, so let's support pod. Pods, pull. Yeah. And um, what we're going to do here is override noun to be pods. We'll always give it the full version. Nice. Yeah, Anything okay. else? Oh no, we still want the wild card. Hey, we still yeah, don't we do, do this. Like, <laughs> yeah, hey, don't do this. Exit one. You. This is bad. Um, <laughs> right. X is zero. <laughs> uh, and then it's we're zero, happy with zero the zero light. I, I don't think it's an error. We're just in here. You, you don't want to do this. Well, yeah, fair. Well, unless it's chaining it with other. Yeah, we didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> yeah, no, I think we should. I think we should to break pipelines and stuff. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, okay. So let's test if this still works. Um, we need to modify this. So we're seeing that now we have this encapsulated group where it's known verb. We just drop it in and let's do my fancy copy again. Uh, uh, this is CD. CP. <laughs> CP. And then verb. All right. So that means KN. Uh, let's remove crew bin <laughs> yeah 
I'm going to redeploy it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Hold on. Yeah, what are you trying to do? I want to see... Oh, LN, what am I doing? LS. So that noun verbs is going to cube pod say, so Yeah, we don't want that to do that anymore. What we actually oh, want right, no. is... Oh, right, no. Yeah. Let's just remove right. it. So, crew bin. Let's just delete and see if the crew installed. Do you want to remove it and then install it? Yeah. Uh, so let's just remove it from the store. Yeah. I know what I'm doing. Kind of. Oh, you know what? Screw you, crew. <laughs> oh, maybe, because it's... Maybe overkill. Uh, oh, yeah, and I've got alias. What? Uh, Source. Noun verb cannot be extracted into archive. Can be found and extracted archive. Because oh, I blew oh, it out of the tree. Is there like a crew in it? No. Oh no, we need to. It's not in the archive. We literally need to um, do a git re, do a git move, push it to GitHub, do another release. All right. Oh. It's got the old name in it. It's got the old name in the zip file, right? We need to do CI before we do CD. Uh, let's add. Let's make sure we confirm that delete. We don't want the Tarzip commit uh, chore refactor. Git <laughs> <laughs> uh, tag alpha three. Oh, let's update that fail. Add commit. Uh, no, uh, oh, I've got an alias for that. Keen. Um, Retag it. Stop judging me. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't push it. It's fine. All right. Let's get a release on the go. Uh, this is this is my finest work. I was going to say this is dreadful, but I don't think I've ever written anything nicer than this. So. I don't think I've ever been this productive in my life. This is, uh, <laughs> this, is, uh, this is a nice development ecosystem, to be fair. I was expecting this to be nasty, like extending the schedule is nasty or very complicated like writing a uh, CRI plugin is very complicated this is really nice yeah not been too bad actually um okay so I've got a really broken crew directory right now actually so I think I think you might want to burn uh, it to the ground yeah so brew. you have to reinstall crew now of course install install I need an alias for that. I'm never typing that again. Burr. 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 Oh, it doesn't like reinstall. I thought that was a thing. Uh, I think it might just be reinstall. Mm -hmm. uh, Brew link crew should do it because that's, that's actually all you broke, isn't it? Oh, I, I don't know. Let's just let it do that. All right. Let's see. Install. Of course, that doesn't work. This one. <laughs> it's all right. Okay, brew and install crew. I really shouldn't have blown away that whole directory. I knew that was getting carried away. I don't think it's that. I think it's complaining about our archive. Oh, right. It's complaining about the thing on GitHub and saying it doesn't have QCTL noun verb in it. Is it because it's noun verbs? Oh, you're probably right. So I pair programming. Oh, noun verb, noun oh, verb. No, it is noun verb, that's age. Uh, should we curl that archive and see what's what's going on? Oh, well, I mean, this is wrong. <laughs> right. We, we need the sha again. Oh, right. Oh, so, right, yeah, yeah. Uh, sha. <laughs> I'm going to have to install some sort of new core tells or something like that, I think, for that. That shit is not the same, is it? It shouldn't be. It shouldn't be. Oh, I downloaded the wrong file. All right, um, <laughs> <laughs> it's totally an amateur error. I'm really sorry. Uh, sorry. The pressure of typing is, is real. Uh, is that too you bad? never feel so smart as when you're a pair programming there we go. pair. 
Because you're just the guy sitting there, like using ten percent of your brain power, just picking fault. Don't worry. If this was reversed, I would look like a complete idiot. You'd just be like, "Matt, that's wrong. That's wrong." So, <laughs> yes. There's a weird. This doesn't. Uh, That's chicken and egg problem here, right? So for me to update the code and tag this as v4, I would need to push that, release the tag, and then push this with the shot. Oh uh, yeah. So how this, do you keep this on? How do you keep this under version control? Maybe this doesn't. Maybe it shouldn't live in our repository. Maybe someone's done that just for the yeah. heck of it, and this lives in the crew repo. And I'm just like, I, yeah, maybe. But then you'd have to have right access to the crew repo, or you'd need to PR every time you wanted to do a release. <laughs> we have so we have this at my uh, we had this at my old place with exactly this problem that was because we use Bazel to do hermetic builds. You'd commit oh. the last of the code and lay the tag to do a release. And then it would go through CI, and you then you'd end up with a container image, um, with the shar of the container image, right? Uh, and only then could you update your your Helm files to tell Kubernetes to deploy it. So you ended up with this weird double commit because we didn't have a separate infra repo. I really wanted one, but the the people who ran the the you know microservices team uh, were so set on their Bazel and their Mono repo. We would even the manifest needed to be in there, so yeah, we had exactly this double commit to get the shark kind of issue. Yeah, so I'm not we're, we're not going to solve that today, obviously. What I'm going no, to suggest not. is that like, I mean, we've already pushed v, v1 alpha 3, and I'm just going to do the crew install, which should hopefully just use the archive. Um, yeah, I've updated the shallowly, I'm not committing it, I'm not pushing it yeah. with an alpha 4 and getting in a loop, I'm just going to do that, right. Uh, we didn't check the report. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. We're testing in process. Uh, so my very poor attempt at making this work work. So let's run yeah, this well, locally. Well, I mean, it's objecting to that regex syntax. So what is the bash regex syntax? Yeah. I guess it's not that. So they're just doing. They've got square brackets for character groups, which you'd expect. Maybe you literally have to do it like that, spell them out and have them fall through. Because <laughs> the double double yeah, semicolons yeah, like yeah, break, yeah, right? Yeah, they, um, yeah. so, so we can have fall through. That'll get it working. That'll get pods, it working. pod, pull. I'm not hitting right regexes. Life's too short. And if I want to test this, the easiest way to do that would be noun verb. Although oh, now it's yes. not going to work because, oh yeah, noun. Well, it doesn't I'll matter what put... that is. Um, yeah. Okay, so line seven. Okay, so the fall through is not quite right. Oh, wait, wasn't it running the old code then? Look at that error message again. No, it's complaining about it. No, that's sorry. not really having a statement, I guess. Was there an example of a fault? Does it through? need to be no. tabbed in? Is it literally our our <laughs> statement? Literally need to be tabbed in? Oh. As in yeah, as in that. And I oh, think no, well, that something... means it's wrong here then, right? So No, no, I think that's fine. <laughs> I think that just needs to be indented more than the and and the semicolons. I think they just need to be indented more. Yeah. <laughs> Try it. Oh, line seven. Which one's seven then? That's weird. I mean, if we let I, I, I don't mind if it's duplicated for now. Yeah, right. Yeah, let's make it work. Okay. Uh, cool. So someone must have done this before. Bash case, multiple matches. Yeah. Thanks, Google. Um, yeah. Oh, it's just a pipe. Oh, no, wait, this is the question. <laughs> right. Right. I do that all the time. Oh, no. Okay, so just a pipe. Hmm. Uh, so let's try pod. Pull. So we were just being a bit too regexy for it, I think, maybe. We were being too good. <laughs> I, get, I, get that. I get that a lot. You get that a lot, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Cool, there we go. Um, and since we're going to push another release, let's make it a bit more useful. So deployments, deployment, deploys, deploy. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, I've never used anything shorter than deploy. If you, does anyone don't else? think you can. Deploys. Oh, I'm <laughs> using my command here. Hold on. Deploys. <laughs> Is there a way to get the aliases actually? I've never, I don't know if I've done that. Yeah, before. I think kubectl API resources tells you that. Oh yeah, cool, so. Deploy. Yeah, and then you can just pluralize. I couldn't, oh there, there it is, okay. So deployments yeah. and deploy. So ours is better because we're giving you deployment and deploys. So. Right. Okay, and let's make sure that this is bad works. Uh, exec, singy, majiggy. Yeah, cool. There we go. Um, nice. Uh, this is bad. Um, we don't support noun yet. Nice. PR. PR's welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Great minds. All right. So, we need to add our, our YAML, our cube control, and we want to update the version to be version 4, and we're not going to update this one until we've done the release. So, commit, bash M, uh, fix, use, ah, learn bash. <laughs> yeah, uh, fixed us rather than the code. <laughs> uh, or tag it alpha four don't need a force and uh, push with tags i feel like we're almost there um which means now we create the release yes and there should be us uh, new release This is V1 Alpha 4, definitely a pre-release. Uh, we had a couple of comments come in here. So DevOps Directive said, good stuff, fun over your morning coffee. Cool, good. This is a bit of a, a wild one, but I'm definitely enjoying myself. I hope Matt is too. I, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and Adam says, you're a little late. Oh, I, I mean, I, I feel sorry for the people that are late because this is wild, but um, you watched the Laravel Docker streams, good work. Oh, thanks, man. Appreciate that. Okay, so V1 Alpha 4 is out. Which means now the crew install didn't work last time, right? So hopefully we can just there must be some sort of update command. Um, but first I I'm think, gonna yeah. re redownload. We need to fix that SHA, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, let's yeah. get our new SHA, which is here. We're chicken egg thing. I don't think we're doing this right at all. Um No. I think we'll GitHub actions would let us do this in one go. Uh so let's take a For look. Example. Yeah, it must have an upgrade command. Yeah, that's an up, a show, uh, upgrade install plugins to your versions, update the local copy of the plugin index. Let's try an update, see if it pulls that. Oh wait, this is coming, oh yes, this is coming from crew index repository. So we do need to push the manifest to that. Uh, but were you pointing at a local? Oh right, so, okay, can local. we just give it a manifest? Can we do a local update by pointing at a manifest still? Would it still take that dash dash manifest? Uh, no, so am I going to have to uninstall it and reinstall it? That must be the Maybe. the local workflow, I guess. So uninstall uh, noun verb. Noun verbs. Like it is not installed. Reinstall. Oh, yeah. And now we can do can. Let's see if we get our exec thing. Yeah. Also. Although it said we don't support DHHF, so <laughs> oops, wrong, wrong interpolation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but we do have. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, we literally shifted too many times. <laughs> oh, this works locally, right? It worked locally, but there's an extra argument <laughs> in the front when you're running in production. Right. Hot we fix. need a test on it. We need a hot fix. Yeah. All right. So we, uh, we need to push five and we need to fix our bash. So noun is two. Uh, we can fix this. Oh, so that's probably right now, actually. Uh, and then this is. Oh, no, that's. Oh, it's still one. Oh, we just we need should, an yeah, extra shift. So shift yeah. two. Oh, you did that when you were factoring. That's what it was. Okay. Yeah, I did. I broke it. 
Do we need okay. Many? Oh, and there's a bug. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, so there is. Uh, okay, so. Um, and then we do a shift and get. Okay, I'm confident with that. Are you confident? It feels like a lot of shifts, but okay. Okay. <laughs> So we are pushing our new, we need to go to Alpha 5. This is a very fast moving project, definitely cloud native. Um, <laughs> Multiple deployments a day. Uh, Testing in production, I mean. Unrefactored mass <laughs> fix. Uh, How okay. correct. Push with tax, we're almost there. So you got the muscle memory for this now. I know I've got I've got the groove going. So uh, you're, in, you're in flow. Alpha five. I mean, I'm almost tempted to v1 this now. To be honest, <laughs> if this worked, we could like we, we could 0.1 it. Yeah, 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 for sure. All right, let's grab release five, Shah Summit, copy this, uninstall, reinstall. I mean, that development loop is not ideal. I think. I still think we're doing mm. something slightly incorrect with how crew wants us to work, but uh, it's working for now. It is. Well, we haven't actually read their docs, to be yeah. fair. So <laughs> that's true. So let's uninstall, and then verbs, and then install, and then verbs. That should work. Okay. Pods. <gasps> oh yeah! Come on. Deploy. Look at that. Yeah, let's cool. scrape nginx. Oh use... no! No! What? Uh, I don't what, understand. What happened? That. What happened? That should work. How is it extracting that? Okay, so how did it get known nginx one? So <laughs> we look at the old bash. No, it was verb. It was verb, right? I oh, know it was noun. No, it was noun. Yeah, verb should be here. Shifting to. I think we. Is that shift? What happens if you shift twice and there's only one in the array? Is that and we're just we're getting the last one? Oh, uh, maybe. Yeah. So let's shift one to get the noun. Shift to, oh yeah, that you're right. There was too many shifts. Shift one. That's awesome. Let's run this locally. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not yeah, doing I can't. I, <laughs> I can't reason about this from first principles because I don't actually know what he's doing. I think we just need a lot of printf debugging. Yeah, it works locally. Yeah, well, how did we break it? But the, it gets one more argument right when we're running. No, because I'm passing in known. Oh, you are. Yeah. Describe nginx one. All right, that that is perfect. So let let's push it one more time, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. We're kind of uh, getting towards the end of an hour and a half now. And as much fun as it is, oh, wow. uh, we, we've got a job to do, real jobs. <laughs> yeah, first we need to put back the code to what I wrote because that was correct, and you need to acknowledge <laughs> that in public. And then, <laughs> then we, um, we could call it. Oh. That's going to hurt with that commit, right? Okay. It was the sarcasm. That's why I'm coming for you, David. It was the shade I got last time. Uh, re un re refactored <laughs> mats. And I'll take it out of quotes. Oh, thank you. Fixing that felt so needed. David's. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the humiliation. Right. That was worth it. <laughs> Right, alpha six, six alphas in a day. Right, so let's get it. We release. should be able to get some seed, some uh, seed funding for that. We don't have a star yet. I'm really disappointed in your audience. Come on, <laughs> not a single GitHub star. This is gold, pure gold. Right. Imagine the amount of update notifications you get, though. Oh, oh yeah. Just don't watch it. That's probably a poor idea. <laughs> but um, star the thing, please. So. We now have alpha six, and we want to uninstall, install can pods. Oh, come on! Do 
there's something weird happening between us running this locally versus what we're getting as the oh so the plugin's getting one less that's what it is so oh, wait, is it we, actually stripping right well, i thought it was passing it. everything through. It's actually stripping it right yeah because remember okay. it's just it's just executing our script oh of course it, it is I, but I, I assumed it would dump its own argument array through i didn't think it would okay so we just need to lose that we first just need shift. to lose the first shift yeah right i thought it was i thought it was <laughs> copying its argument array verbatim i'm sure we had evidence for that oh i don't know i don't know um, but so we're now in alpha, alpha, alpha seven uh i don't know what the mess commit message is for this fix uh, let's just do shrug emoji yeah uh, we'll go with this one. <coughs> right. Oh, okay. Try again. The item was pretty decent. Uh, I'm could. assuming it doesn't handle the skin tone variance. That seems to be the problem. Um, uh, right. Let's tag seven. Oh, I see. Now there's a window for someone to have starved this, and if it's not you, Matt. I mean, what are you even doing here? So, I mean, it's me because <laughs> I thought we needed some love. <laughs> yeah, if it wasn't you, you were going to get called out for that. So I'm glad. Right. Okay. Now we have seven. We're re-downloading our release. I really, I don't like this workflow. Okay. No, we be. could. I mean, I, I mean, I don't think we... it's the workflow that's expected of us. I think it's us no. doing something. I don't think we need. I mean, we don't need to install it every time, right? We could literally just overwrite that symlink. Yeah. All right. That's it. I'm sure it says so. Can pods get should be the same. There's a bit of lag. I'm. Uh, yeah. I'm at... this is nail biting oh, for me. Oh yeah. Job done. Oh, the final test. Uh, exec. Oh, yeah. Nice. And it doesn't support exec. <laughs> awesome. Good work, team. Yeah. Uh, let's add. So that we add the noun verb. It's not a tag. It's not a release. So this is just a chore. Um, updated crew manifest. I don't think the manifest should probably live in this repository. But for now we have a working plugin i'm happy no with that. i mean what what we haven't done is publish it right i guess publishing it is going to involve getting that manifest into the central well, upstream yeah there's thing. this crew index which right which i we, assume means yeah, we right. need to pr or something into this yeah there we go so this is just maybe this is yeah the, yeah maybe this is the canonical source maybe it's not i don't know we we could avoid the double commit thing with with some GitHub action magic. Um, well, I don't think we need the double commit. We just don't need that manifest. Or we, yeah, in or we our just repository. move the file. Yeah, yeah. Um, that other repository just becomes the actual the single source of it. So let's try. Oh, no, we 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 won't submit that PR. Like, I'll do that later. Um, <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's quite ready. <laughs> what do you mean it's not ready? ready? It does. It handles pods and deployments. <laughs> We need a, we should put a license on it at least. You're right. Okay, yeah. Let's get that cleaned up and ready for open source consumption. Um, we can yeah. fight on the license later. I'm assuming we'll just go MIT though. So. Oh yeah, yeah. I just mean it's it's polite to put to, to give it to the world. Or we could proprietary license it and sell it. <laughs> I pay nothing for that. Yeah, yeah. All right, that was fun. I really enjoyed that. Uh, <laughs> it was. I hope people watching that got some value from understanding how a cube control plugin works. Uh, the development cycle working with crew. I mean, I don't think we've nailed that. I think we identified at the end there the reason we have that weird thing. I'm not sure how to upgrade a local plugin, but there's definitely stuff for us to get that a little bit nicer. And hopefully some people find this useful when we publish it. Uh, anything you'd like to add or finish with there, Matt? No, I don't think so. That was that was a lot of fun. I might go and write a couple of plugins. Thank you very much for having me. <laughs> no, my pleasure. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Uh, I, I really am looking forward to adding a few more uh, nouns to this and actually using it in my daily cube control journey. So 
Anyway, that's I'm going to from... refactor all my shell aliases. Yeah, exactly. I can cut off so many oh, KPOs, so many. KPDs, all right. these different things. Yep. Like, it's just going to... All right, anyway, uh, thanks. Have a great day. I'm going to actually do some real work now before I get fired, so I'll speak to you soon. Cool. <laughs> See you, <laughs> Bye. Bye.